Relationship Advice by Dr. Jassy Time. <laughs> okay, I know I'm not really a doctor, but yeah. Okay, um, this is going to be how to handle it if someone you like doesn't like you back. Okay, first of all, be mature. That's the most important thing. Be mature about it. Um, when you confess your feelings, don't, if you, when you confess your feelings, don't like do it in front of a group of people or give it in letter form because that could have some nasty drawbacks if the person you're confessing to is not such a nice guy or gal. Guy or gal. Okay, first thing I'm going to offer, I'm not going to try to number really because I, I never remember. Okay, the first piece of advice I'm going to offer would be, let's see. Once okay, yeah, I already gave you one. Be mature. Second thing I'm going to tell you is that um, basically, when they say that you they don't like you, don't sob in front of them. Now, unless they do it in a complete jackass way, they're like, oh, I'd never date a bitch like you, or I'd never date a loser like you, like with girls and boys. Yeah, if you cry after that, perfectly understandable. If they're like, um, because I had one friend who nicely said, I'm sorry, but I don't like you like that, like this. Her voice was this quiet. It's like she was whispering. Like that. This dude broke out sobbing. And it wasn't like, you know, like he was just like, uh, you guys have heard guys cry who are actually men. You guys have heard men cry before, like in any anime or whatever. Or, you know, if you're an anime fan, of course you've heard a guy cry at one point. But he's like, Aah! and he's just like wailing and sobbing. And he sounds like a dying manatee. He's just, ugh, he's so fucking annoying. Uh, that, the, the, don't do that. Have some dignity. If your feelings are hurt, okay, if your feelings are hurt and you feel like you do need to do that, don't try, don't, like, he was doing this to make her feel guilty. If you really feel like you want to cry, do it in private or do it in secret. Don't, or, you know, like, take some time later on and do it. Don't try to make the person feel guilty with your tears, though, but if you really can't help it and you actually are very hurt by this, yeah, if you, if, if you just happen to leak out a few tears, then I, I, I wouldn't blame you if you really, really are hurt. But if you're, like, don't do it for guilt purposes. Um, sorry, itchy nails, allergies, I know, it's not allergy season, but dust. <laughs> mm, yeah. But, um, hmm, but, um, if, uh, oh, okay, number three, do not, and I repeat, do not, one more time, do not, okay, one more time just for the hell of it, do not, don't, no, yet, uh-uh, no, 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 no. Do not become a stalker. For the love of God, don't become a stalker. Don't start obsessively following this person. And if they, if you notice that they're actively avoiding you after you confess your, after you confess your feelings, let them not stalk or freak. And you want to talk to this person, and you just want to continue to hang out. If you notice they're like actively avoiding you, you need to give them a little space. And um, if when things cool out a little bit, you can go back to them, talk to them, be like, okay, well, I understand that you don't like me. Can we just stay friends? I won't try anything. Just please stay my friend. If you, I would really like it if you stay my friend. But yeah. But if you notice, like, let's say you're psycho and you notice that they're actively avoiding you, don't start acting crazy. Don't start asking people where this person is every 12 seconds. I've had this happen to me. I've had this happen to my friends. This has happened to almost everyone. I know that you guys think that only the models and debutantes and sexy girls out there get stalked, but nerds like me get stalked too. Don't get me wrong, I wish that, you know, being nerdy automatically meant that you were exhumed for being stalked. Unfortunately, that's not the case. So, like I said, it's like, don't, don't have time to follow them everywhere. And for God's sakes, if you're a girl, don't be a cock blocker. And if you're a guy, don't, don't be a cock blocker. If, if you see the two of them together, don't sit in the middle of it. Because, like, my friend had this happen. This dude who was talking to her obsessively, he used to sit in the middle of them when we were trying to talk. It was so fucking irritating. Don't do that. Don't be crazy. And I'm sorry if I'm being a little bit dramatic. But seriously, don't don't be don't be psycho about it. Like seriously, if you know that this person really doesn't want you around, leave them alone. If you're like a nutcase or something, you need to back off. But like, let's say you're really nice or something, and you see them talking, and you just want to innocent. Let's say you're innocent and you want to talk to them. You. The best bet would be for you to approach them and be like, oh, are you two talking about something private? Can I talk to you guys? Or whatever. Okay? 
And for the nutcases out there, don't be mean to the boy or girl you lost to. For girls, don't be bitchy to the girl. And for guys, don't be bitchy to the guy you lost to. Don't be mean. Don't attack and pick on the person. Because I've had, like I said, I've had this happen to me. This guy liked me in my class. And one of my so-called friends, um, Jay, um, Jay, Jay Chan. We're going to call her Jay Chan. Because a lot of my friends, of course, are going to have the same letter in the, in the first part of their name as me. Um... She noticed that this guy liked me, and me and him were talking, and um, the next day, someone else was, uh, one of my other friends was there, so I went to go tend to him, I was like, are you okay, and he told me what happened, and so I'm sitting there, she's like, oh wow, two in a row, you're really on a roll, and she was really rude to me for the rest of the day, don't pick at the person you lost to, and me and this person weren't even dating, so I don't even know why she was being so bitchy to me, don't pick on the person you lost to. Don't pick on the boy or girl because the person that you like, if they were your friend, will most likely not want to be your friend anymore after seeing that. And like I said, that's for the psychos though, for the nutcases. And for the regular people who just would like be like be accepting of it, that's good that you would accept. You probably don't need to be watching my video. It's probably these nut jobs who need just a little bit of direction. Like if a girl doesn't like you, accept it and move on. Or if a guy doesn't like you, accept it and move on. Because I did have a friend Okay, I love this girl, and it's hard for me to say this about her. Her name is Vichan. I love Vichan to death. I really, 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 really do. But she did start to annoy me at one point because this guy she liked said that he didn't like her. And she thought it was like a problem with her ethnicity, and he said it's got nothing to do with your ethnicity. I've had black girlfriends, and I think they're beautiful, but I'm not into you. Vichan was not very accepting about this. She followed him to his classes. Um, waited for him outside of his classes, followed him to his after-school activities, got his phone number from one of his unsuspecting friends, stalked him on Facebook. She, she, she was crazy. Don't do these things. If, seriously, don't do these things. If this person's already said that they don't like you, don't do these things. If you want to just be their friend, then what you're doing is pretty harmless. Like, but I don't do the stalking them thing. It's just annoying. And I really discourage that because, like, it's going to be like in Higurashi, because in Higurashi, he, that one girl freaked him the fuck out. Don't and, and for all of you people, you, like, love junkies, don't show up at their house to sing to them, or I, I, yeah, I've witnessed all this shit, and I've been a victim of a lot of this shit. Don't accept the fact that they don't like you, try to respect their decision, no, don't try, do respect their decision, and just let it go, just be nice about it, if you want to still be their friend, if you if your intentions are perfectly innocent, and you're like, oh, I would still like to be their friend, fine. But don't do, everything I just told you is an absolutely don't. And if this, maybe the person's feelings will change for you. If they don't, just support their relationship and be a good friend. If you care about them so much, you'll be able to support them in whatever. It doesn't matter. Because I've had to, I've had that happen. Like I said, mine ended really well though. Because I actually did wind up being with the person. But I told them when they found out that I liked them. And when I confessed, I was like, but it's okay. I know you're in love with blah, blah, blah. And I'm not going to do anything to interfere with that. Lo and behold, they liked me too. But sometimes it doesn't work out like that, and I've had chances chances and times where it didn't really work. Um, like, I've had 50% of the time where they just don't feel the same way, and I'm able to carry on with my normal life and pretend like it never happened. It is, yeah, I won't lie, it is going to be very painfully awkward. It's going to be extremely awkward, but still. Just try to get through it and tell and explain to your friend that you'd like it if they didn't tell anyone, or the current GF or BF just out of respect and stuff like that. Um, I had a thought a second ago, and I just got rid of it, um, hmm, I can't remember, but, um, yeah, um, don't, you know, be, like, stalkerish and obsessive or anything like that, just, just be accepting, and yeah, it's, it, it's, it is going to be awkward, it is going to be very, 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 very awkward. Um, but, you know, just explain to that person that, you know, I didn't mean any harm, I don't want you to be freaked out by me, um, I really, I, I have no intention of doing anything bad, but if you're one of the, like, it's like, don't be a psycho freak, because I know, uh, I've been a victim of this, a lot of people are, like, psycho freaks about it. My, one of my recent friends I had, she just had that problem, too, because this person just was not getting the message, and he was, like, crying and sobbing and stuff, and trying to get her to, don't do any of those things, because the person is automatically going to get freaked out by you. And so, what you could do is accepted and have a good friendship with this person and support their friendship and continue to be, you know, cool with them. Or you could act like a freak and have them 
scared to even answer their door and telling everybody how nuts are you're acting. Your choice, you pick your poison. Okay, guys, thank you for listening to Relationship Advice by Dr. Jasmine and by Domo, even though she or he, you guys still haven't given me a gender yet, but I did just post that video an hour ago, so yeah. Bye. This is my little helper. You know, they weren't in the movie, I mean, in the video for very long or like, you know, with me physically holding them. They were just, hey, alright. They almost said, bye.